So today we're gonna to go through in our two minute Tuesday, which might actually be two minutes, is how to set up two-factor authentication for your Office 365 accounts. To the computer. So what you need to do here is log into portal.office365.com as your admin account. So you need to have an admin account on your 365 system to do this. Once you're logged in, you go down to users, active users, click on the more button at the top of this page and go to multi-factor authentication setup. This will open a new tab for you. And within here, you can enable and disable two-factor authentication on individuals and also groups of people. So what you can do here is you can find an individual, click on enable, read the warning here, enable multi-factor authentication, and that is now done. It's that easy, really easy. If you want to enable this for everybody, you can also click on the update in bulk link at the top here. That will give you a sample CSV file. So if I just download that, you can then open it in something like Microsoft Excel. And that shows you the columns that you need to be able to do this in bulk. Now, one step further here is you might want to actually stop two-factor authentication when you're logging in from within the office. So if you are working in constantly in the office, maybe you're working from home all the time and you've got a static IP address at home, you can whitelist those so you don't have to sign in constantly whilst you're in the office into your Outlook and Office and everything else you need to use. So let me just show you how to do this. So you're still in your admin center. What you need to do now is go down to admin centers at the very bottom, go to your Azure Active Directory, and that will open up yes another window. And in here, you just want to go to Azure Active Directory, scroll down to find conditional access, go to named locations, and then you might have one already set up. If you don't, just click on a new location. And down here, you want to add in the static IP address, or you can add in the range that you need to be able to whitelist that IP address from your company. And now you will no longer have to log in with two-factor authentication in your office. And so now that's all set up, let's go into what it looks like from a user's point of view when they first log in. And what it will now do is prompt you for that information to set up two-factor authentication. It will then take you to a page where you can set up how you want to log in and what form of two-factor authentication you want to do. Pop in my mobile number, I'm gonna want it to send me a code. Click on next, copy and paste that into the verification window. Click on verify, and that's gonna now have set up my account. So one thing it now gives you the option to have is an app password. App passwords are what you need to type into things like your Outlook, any application that needs to permanently stay signed in to Office 365, you need to have an app password. Now, if you need to generate some more app passwords because you've got multiple applications or maybe multiple phones or something, you just click on the icon, your lovely smiling face to the right-hand side here, click on my account. Once you get into that window, you scroll down to security and privacy, additional security verification, and then create and manage app passwords. Click on there, and then you can now generate multiple passwords. If you wanna create five or 10 or 15 passwords, then you can just do that from within here. And that's basically all there is to two-factor authentication. One thing I have noticed is once you set this up, it does take a while for things like Outlook or any other devices you've got to kick you out. So if it doesn't work straight away, just leave it until your phones or your devices kick you out of your email account and then paste in that new password. That's all for this week. Hope it was useful. Please like the video if you did. Subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye-bye.